19 pandemic. Starting in Kampala, the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, Dr. Stephen Kazimba Mgalu, led worshippers in his first open service following the reopening of places of worship across the country. Joined by the Bishop of Namurembe Diocese, Wilberforce Chicholuwalida, Dr. Kazimba led the faithful in prayer at the Anglican Mata Shrine Namgongo and welcomed the decision to reopen all places of worship. And I'm so grateful that the church buildings are now open to public worship. To God be the glory. However, he reminded Christians of the need to fully comply with the SOPs to stop a third wave that might result in the repeat closure of worship places. It doesn't mean that now COVID is gone. We are free to do whatever we want. No, it doesn't mean that now we may not observe the SOP, standard operational procedures, no. It means we should even be more careful than ever before. During the service, Kazimba also officiated over the launch of the redevelopment campaign for the Uganda Matters Seminary in Namgongo that trains the church clergy. Let us love our own institutions. You know we have our institutions, but we don't love them. People talk about other institutions. When it comes to there, they are looking down upon, but ours. We marvel at all this. We remember with gratitude the contributions of every leader who has led this institution to where it is now. Bishops, wardens, principals, and tutors, who all have heard a bridge to add to the development of this place. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Elsewhere, Christians in Lira City have expressed appreciation to the government for easing the restriction on worship centers, pledging to abide by all the health SOPs that have been put in place. Thank you for being united with your faith. officially opened the church and I'm so so much happy. Very very happy. The measures that they were being given they have been followed up to now and that is why we are seeing that even today that you have come we have seen that people are sitting. And even some people are still hanging around one one of them is me who does not want to go home. We, we feel that we still need to stay near the church. In Gulu district, Catholic clergy welcomed the reopening of places of worship, noting that their continued closure had frustrated efforts to sensitize the population about the benefits of increasing the uptake of COVID-19 vaccination. We couldn't encourage them. So many people still remain unvaccinated. And now that the church is open, we will continue uh, sensitizing them that they should go and get vaccinated because we are told that some of our districts are still hot spots, as I said, in the church today. In Fort Porto, Luanzori Diocese Bishop Ruben Chisembo thanked President Museveni for easing the lockdown on churches and also called upon Christians to adhere to the SOPs because COVID-19 is still spreading and killing. But yes, we have opened, but COVID-19 is still a threat, so let's not relax so much and continue. When you not observing the SOPs, let us observe the SOPs. We want to instruct all our churches the rest of the world to ensure that we have more than one service. The service should last for only one hour. It will go and a few others come and ensure that SOPs are observed throughout all these services. Even the choir was asked to keep on their masks. In Koboko district, Christians flock various churches for today's prayers and during the sermon at St. Mark Church of Uganda, Reverend James Ombanya called on worshippers to ensure that they go for the COVID-19 vaccine to guard against the deadly pandemic. I think I'm very grateful because it has been a very long time that we have been having our prayers. I feel actually so grateful. In Kabale, worshippers also turned up in large numbers to take part in today's prayers. Okay. And the people have been longing for it, and it is the way people would experience God. People, the way they turned up today, they were very, 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 very much eager and hungry for the word of God. 
Joyce Nakato, NTV Weekend Edition.